Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kavya. Today I'm doing some origami. I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to fold a paper crane, or also known as the oritsuru in Japanese. For those of you who don't know, origami is the art of folding paper and creating various intricate objects and shapes. And I've always found it really fascinating how you can take something really basic, like a piece of paper and literally transform it into something really creative and whimsical, if you like, uh, like a paper crane. This video is actually part one in a two-part series I've created. In part two, I'll be sharing a beautiful home decor DIY that I think you guys are gonna love using the paper cranes that I'm folding today. So if you're into home decor or maybe you want to just get creative, add some new pops of color to a space in your home, then definitely stay tuned for that video. That one will be out soon. But for now, let's jump right into this one and get started. So to begin, you're going to need a square piece of paper. It can be any size square piece of paper that you have, uh, but I am going to be working with six inch squares. And to give you guys a rough idea, a six inch square piece of paper like this will make a paper crane of this size. Uh, obviously the bigger your sheet of paper, the bigger the end result. Uh, and if you're a beginner, I definitely recommend going no smaller than a six inch square, just because there are a few different folding techniques that you're going to need to get the hang of. So if you're working with something really small, then it's just going to be harder for you. So start with something of this size or even bigger uh, until you can you know, get the hang of the technique and then you can work with whatever you want. I do have some larger sheets of craft paper that I'm going to be cutting down so that they're the same size as the smaller squares. These ones I picked up from the shop Daiso. Uh, Daiso is a Japanese store. They have locations all across the world. I think they're very affordable and they have some beautiful stationery and origami paper. So definitely check them out if you have one near you. That's where I get a lot of my little crafty knickknacks. Uh, and then these larger sheets I got from Kaiser Craft. If you're Australian, you might've heard of them. I'll show you guys quickly what I have as well. So I've got a very, um, autumnal color palette happening here, of course. I love my warm earthy colors. So I have some dusty um, pink or like mauve. I also have this gorgeous terracotta color. I love this one. It's got this geometric rainbow pattern on there that I thought was pretty nice. I also have a mustard to tie in with these autumnal colors. I also have this mint green shade. It's got this floral pattern on there. And just to add a bit of contrast, I do have some darker shades as well. So I have this navy over here, and I also have this really gorgeous shade of teal. It has little flowers in different shades of mustard and different tones of pink. And just looking at the other squares that I've got here, I feel like this just complements everything else quite nicely. I'm going to be folding 24 paper cranes. So I have four squares or four paper cranes in each of the different shades. And that just gives you guys a rough idea in case you want to uh, start folding some paper cranes with me today and get organized and join in for next week's DIY. So to begin, place your paper on a flat surface and then flip it around so that the decorative side is facing down and the plain side that you don't want seen is facing up towards you. We're going to make a fold down the middle of this diamond here by taking the top point down to the bottom point here. So bringing that down like so. And then pressing firmly down the middle to create a nice triangle like this. I'm then gonna take the top right corner over to the top left corner. And then I'm going to make a fold down the center of this triangle here to make a smaller triangle like this. You'll notice that there are two flaps here. I'm gonna peel back that top flap You'll notice it looks a little bit like a duck beak. Now this fold here uh, tends to move a little bit with the next step, so I just like to hold it down with a finger or two. I'm gonna take the top point of that duck beak down to the bottom and squash that flap down. Just making sure that the outer edges are all aligned. 
and then pressing down firmly to create a diamond like so. I'm going to flip that over and repeat the same thing on the other side. But before I do that, I'm just taking the top flap back on itself to create a fold down the middle. That's just going to help guide the next fold a little bit better. Once again, these folds tend to move a little bit uh, with the next step. So I'm just going to hold them down with a finger on each side. And then I'm going to push the top point of that duck beak down to that bottom point, making sure once again, the edges are all aligned and then pressing down firmly on all sides to create a diamond. And your paper should look exactly like this at this point. Now I'm going to take the top flap of my diamond. I'm going to bring this edge over here across and over to the middle line here. pressing down firmly to create that fold and then repeating that same thing on the other side, taking the top flap, bringing that outer edge over to the middle. Flipping the paper over and repeating the same thing on the other side. Taking that flap, folding that edge over and across to the middle. And same thing on the other side. You'll notice that you have a kite formation here. I'm going to take the top point of the kite and fold it like so. This is just going to create a guide for our next step. We're going to open the flaps of the kite, peel out that top layer just, just to that line that we've just created in the middle. You'll notice it looks a little bit like a canoe, that's what I think at least, and the outer edges tend to naturally gravitate towards the middle, which is exactly the fold we're going to be making. So I'm going to push the outer edges in towards the middle like this, this is probably the hardest step in my opinion. It might take a little bit of practice. You'll see I'm just adjusting the creases as required, doing the same thing on the other side, bringing that outer edge in towards the middle and creating a diamond just like this. Making sure you're pressing down on all four sides to make sure you have a nice smooth diamond. Flipping it over and doing the same thing on the other side, I'm going to take the top part of my kite and fold it down like this to create that guide. And then opening up the flaps of the kite and peeling up that top layer like so, and then folding in the outer edges so that they meet in the middle. Doing the same thing on the other side, folding it in so that the outer edges meet in the middle and form this diamond. Just to give you a rough guide, your diamond will have three flaps like so at the top and then the bottom is divided. They look a little bit like two pointy legs. I'm going to take the top flap here and bring the outer edge in towards the middle like I'm folding that pointy leg in half. Pressing down firmly just to make sure the fold is nice and smooth and then doing the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to flip that over and do the same thing on the other side. So folding that pointy leg in half like so. and then repeating again on the other side. I 
I'm gonna take the two top flaps and bring them together like so. Folding in the middle. And then doing the same thing on the other side. So bringing those two flaps together. And then you'll notice you have, well, I like to think of this as a bit of a, a fox shape. So you've got the two little uh, ears at the top and then you've got the fox's uh, snout or nose. I'm going to fold back the top layer like this. And then I'm going to fold that layer that I've just folded back in half along that middle partition that we have. And then I'm going to just push down. This is the crane's head that we're forming right here. Push down and then give it a pinch and you've got yourself a little uh, paper crane head. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. The other side's going to be the tail, folding that nicely in half. And then I'm going to spread out these wings, so straighten it. And this is the perfect time to adjust the angle of the crane's tail and head if you want to, by just moving them and then folding the wings and pushing down like so. I'm now going to take this wing and then pull it back down as far as it'll go and making a crease across here, flipping it over, doing the same thing with the other wing, pulling that wing down and making that crease. And then we're gonna spread out those wings gently by pulling them apart and just stretching out like this. Don't pull too hard because you don't wanna rip it just gently and then I like to just push this point here down flatten it a little bit just to give the crane a little bit more body a bit more volume you could say and that also just helps the wings stay out and there you have it you have yourself a folded paper crane I'm going to go ahead and repeat that uh, for the next 23 squares so I have 24 paper cranes in total so I'm all set to go for next week's video